Just north of downtown San Jose, a small neighborhood has been developing its own unique flavor for over a century. Original restaurants and unique shops line the streets, and you can feel an atmosphere that you can't find anywhere else. But San Jose's Japantown has more than just these distinct businesses. If you ask most people here why they like this neighborhood, many will say the warmth and sense of camaraderie that hasn't changed in this tight-knit community for 125 years. Now, a lot of organizations have helped out the community in their own way, but the Issei Memorial Building, this has played a major role in the development of San Jose's Japantown and making it what it is today. In fact, I'll bet more ideas have come from this structure than from anywhere else in Japantown. I guess that sort of makes it a, a think tank, a place where the ideas for the beneficial progress of J-Town, this is where they're born. So much good has come from this building. Different tenants over the past century have made Japantown a better community. But initially, this building started out as a hospital. Back in the early 20th century, there was a great need for a doctor in the Japanese American community. Due to racial, cultural, and language barriers, Issei's couldn't go to the local San Jose hospital. They still, though, obviously needed medical help. So in 1910, the Kumamoto Ken, a prefecture group, commissioned the Nishiura brothers to build the Issei Memorial Building, which at the time was known as the Kuwabara Hospital. The hospital was named after the first resident doctor, Dr. Taisuke Kuwabara. Now, because Dr. Kuwabara did not have a license to practice medicine in California, he worked under the supervision of Dr. James Beattie to bring medical attention to Japantown until 1934. After its lifetime as a local hospital, the Japanese Association took over this building. But in the events after Pearl Harbor, there was a huge discussion about what the community would do about internment camps. You can only imagine the heated debates that went on in this very building regarding the future of the Japanese American community. After World War II came to a close, the Japanese American Citizens League, or JACL, set up the building as a hostel and looked after the Japanese Americans who returned from internment camps. The JACL provided listings for jobs, shelters, and other services. JACL continues to provide the community with a large number of other services, ranging from civil rights to community outreach programs. They are the stewards of the building, having been named owners on behalf of the community. We really want to maintain the facility. We're in the process of making improvements, which uh, will certainly keep the building in its historical state. So, uh, you know, again, I feel, you know, very personally committed to uh, this building. In 1983, the building was renamed the Issei Memorial Building and designated a historical site after much needed repairs. During the 1960s and 70s, a time of great change throughout the country, Japantown was also changing rapidly. Student and community activists met in this building to sort out ideas and to strategize community plans. Encouraged by the JACL and church leaders, they formed Asians for Community Action and advocated for cultural, historical, and other service programs that later became institutions within the community. Trying to create a way to bring people together so that we could all work together in the same way, in the same fashion. So um, there are many, there are several established organizations naturally existing, whether it's the churches or the JCL. But having a, more of an active youth component or a younger group of people that are doing things as advocates in, within the community was also, I felt, very important. It taught us a lot. We learned a lot from uh, our experience doing that and also from the people we worked with in the community in that way. A senior services center was also brought about in this era. Eventually called UIKAI, the service aimed to bring resources to the senior members that help them age with dignity. The group worked primarily out of the Issei Memorial Building until their programs grew too big, and they moved to their own building, currently located on 4th Street. We really are trying to create a space for people to come together and really be able to appreciate and celebrate their, their own heritage and for me, it's been an honor to serve at UIKAI because every day in our two facilities, there's really been a celebration of life. 
San Jose Taiko also came about in the 70s. Local youth got together to form what will become the third Taiko group in the United States. The group went on to perform for organizations that supported important causes such as social justice and ethnic awareness. They were also the first American Taiko group to tour around Japan. It was an opportunity for our generation of Sansei to get together, to be able to have uh, an expression, a voice, uh, creativity, um, also coming together in creating a, uh, another creative aspect of Japantown community. The Japanese American Museum of San Jose, otherwise known as Jam SJ, started out in the Issei Memorial Building as well. The museum grew out of a research project on Japanese American farmers. The museum moved to its current location in 2002 and recently reopened its doors after major renovation. Today, the Issei Memorial Building hosts some of the organizations that play active roles in helping the community. Organizations such as the JACL, the Contemporary Asian Theater Scene, or CATS, Filipino American National Historical Society, J-Town Community TV, the Japantown Community Congress, and San Jose Taiko maintain office spaces in this building. The Japantown Community Congress, or JCCSJ, is one of the most recent groups to come out of the Issei Memorial Building. Now here in this meeting room, they provide a much needed platform for members of the community to voice their opinions for the improvement of Japantown. The Japantown Community Congress of San Jose was formed about 10 years ago and has as its mission to culturally and historically preserve Japantown. We are one of the three remaining Japantowns, the others being Los Angeles and San Francisco. We have created the historic landmarks in San Jose, Japantown, the granite benches in front of the historical buildings, and the Issei Stone and the Wall of Values at the corner of 5th and Jackson Streets. We, our activities include the Disaster Preparedness Program, the Nikkei Community Internship Program, in collaboration with LA and San Francisco. Our board includes organizational representatives, business owners, and residents of San Jose, and we are working with the political entities and the community to preserve the significance and the activities of Japantown. San Jose Taiko currently works here on the second floor of the Issei Memorial Building and they've been performing since 1973. They've performed at countless festivals, including our Obon, and have worked with many organizations at places like the Mexican Heritage Plaza. Their drums really are the heartbeat of Japantown. Well, San Jose Taiko really connects to the Japantown community through its performances. You know, some of the most meaningful uh, performances we do every year are San Jose Obon, Nikkei Matsuri, Aki Matsuri, the things that happen within a two square mile radius of Fifth and Jackson. And through our programs and activities we like to introduce Japantown to our audience members and participants. So bringing them here, having them meet the community members and partake in the businesses and the awesome restaurants that we have, hopefully we make them fans of the, the neighborhood. The Santa Clara Valley chapter of the Filipino American National Historical Society also works out of the Issei Memorial Building, collecting and preserving Filipino American history. CATS was created to serve as an outlet for Asian American theater for over 20 years. More recently, J-Town Community TV, a YouTube channel, has grown out of CATS with the mission to capture Japantown in its authenticity. The channel documents the multitude of events going on around Japantown and uploads them to YouTube for the world to see. J-Town Community TV is concerned with the broader Japanese American and Asian American community in that we do program hopefully for the Silicon Valley Asian American community. One of the most recent projects to be organized out of the Issei Memorial Building was the first annual J-Town Film Fest which brought unique Asian American films to San Jose's Japantown. And finally, the newest group to date in the building is the San Jose Japantown Lions Club and Foundation, an international service organization. This is a building for people. It has been a hospital, a starting place for young organizations, and a space for arts and culture to grow and expand. 
The Issei Memorial Building has always been for the community, and now it's become a think tank steering Japantown into the future. So, times are changing. Different restaurants, different shops, but it's still that same Japantown, the one that started 125 years ago. It's a community, one that looks after each other, one that cares for each other. And a major factor behind this all is the work that's come out of the Issei Memorial Building.